Good morning everyone. As you can see, the sun's not very high in the sky and Stephen's out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> so we are on our way down into Keswick because we have a mountain goat tour booked. Um, it's a little mini bus that takes you on tours around the lakes. Um, 60 quid a person and we're doing the high adventure tour today. So we meet them in Keswick at 25 past nine. So yeah, Stephen's had to get up early this morning. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> you feel like you're gonna faint? No. <laughs> Fine, I was up before you. No, then you got back in bed and went back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> initially I was up before you. And it's pretty cold this morning, the temperature's dropping overnight and the lake's pretty rapidly in it. Temperature <coughs> is daytime temperature is gonna be high next. Yeah it's well, well it's gonna be 18 degrees today but I've got my body warmer because everybody knows I'm always cold. <coughs> we can always it's, leave them on the minibus. It's cold now. It's quite nine, quite nine, nippy. Degrees. Even though it, it's beautiful it's gonna be a lovely day we hope because um, 'cause we're gonna do some really good looking scenic routes today. We've got the drone, we've fixed it, we hope. <laughs> we've just panned around the van and recorded and it worked so hopefully once we get it up in the air it'll do the same. So yeah we'll take you with us on this uh, mountain goat tour and see whether it's worth the money. So this is our bus. Um, we're a little bit early which is a good thing because we're usually late and we're just waiting for the driver. He looks like he's cleaning the windows. So we've just done a little um, stop to have a look at, that is Elta Water Village down there, apparently. And uh, we're heading into the Langdale Valley, which is the driest valley in the Lake District because it doesn't have a lake. It's really interesting so far. So we've just done another stop. We've come up a pass down there, which was a 25% incline and the minibus wheels were skidding coming up of it. And apparently up Hard Not Pass, which is another one we're going up, is even worse. Yeah. <laughs> but this behind us, this little tarn is Blee Tarn, which apparently means blue water. Um, we're quite lucky with the weather at the minute, aren't we? Oh, stunning, isn't it's it? stunning, yeah. Hopefully we get a longer stop at some point so we can get the drone up. But we're literally just doing short stops for pictures and short amount of video time because we've got quite a long way to go Good. over some quite difficult roads. <laughs> But the guide, Kevin, he's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, knows his stuff, he's a good driver and he's 70 and he could probably outstrip the rest of us, couldn't he? <laughs> he's brilliant. Um, but yeah, we'll get back in the bus and uh, carry on up this pass. So we're coming up Rhino's Pass, which is this road that leads along here. It's pretty windy and twisty, um, but as you can see, the views are beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Really glad we did this. I don't know what Stephen's doing. Why are you stood behind the bus? <laughs> oh. <laughs> if he rolls back, you're going to get squished. Going up hard, not fast now. So we're just coming to the top of Hard Not Pass now. Um, yeah, it's fun, but I wouldn't fancy driving it. Look, that's the pass there. Pretty cool. So we've come to have a look at a little pack horse bridge, um, which as you can see is lower on one side than the other. Apparently it's the old pack horse route and they used to transfer one pack from the other. So it's the way that they used to come through the valley. done a pub stop at the Brook House Inn. Um, we just ordered a sausage butty and a pint. 
just a little lunchtime stop but yeah so far it's been really really good i'm really enjoying it i'm glad we chose the high adventure tour the six lakes tour um looks also really good if you haven't done a lot of the lakes we already have so it wouldn't be any good for us it's kind of all the tour touristy stuff whereas this is a bit more off the beaten track kind of thing um so i think we're on our way to Wastwater. Um, which is the deepest lake in England. So we're going to have our food and get on our way there. Cheers. I'm done, so I'm giving the rest of mine to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's too rich. It's nice, it's too rich. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah. And your extra bit of dessert. What's food I have to eat for you? <laughs> It's a really big piece of brownie. <laughs> well, I didn't have the brownie, I wonder if it needs to eat it. <laughs> it was massive. Um, so I think we're on our way to Westwater now, like I said. So get on the bus and do this thing. Yeah. It's really good so far. Yeah, I enjoy it. Pub's are really nice as well. Mm, nice. We won't be able to get here in the van though. No, it's out of the way. Absolutely it? no way. I got so we made it to Wastwater, um, which is the deepest lake in the Lake District. <laughs> and just watch all the mud stay. <laughs> um, 248 feet deep, is it something? and one of the coldest lakes in the Lake District as well. They found bodies in here and all sorts, but it's very foreboding with all the mountain just dipping straight into the lake. Looks cool though. We're gonna try and get the drone up. We've only got 10 minutes, so it's not got long. So Wastwater is absolutely stunning. I've left Stephen talking to the rest of the group on the tour that are all very interested in the drone. <laughs> Bless them. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful place. I really, really would like to come out on the paddleboard here, but getting the motor on here would be impossible. I don't think you'd get it over here. Need a car. So we're now in the grounds of Muncaster Castle. Um, there is a bird of prey show on that we're going to, but that's the castle over there. Let's go and have a quick look after we've had a look at this. Yeah, there's a bird of prey show, bird of prey centre. Um, you can go and have a look at the taking like injured birds of prey that they can't bring really release back into the wild. Um, so yeah, go and have a nose at that, won't we? Yeah. yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah. It's been really good so far. The guys are really, really good. He knows lots of history, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but some of the ways that the Cumbrians pronounce stuff, I don't understand what they're saying half the time. <laughs> I know.
was one of the best bird prey shows I've ever seen. It's definitely worth coming on the tour just to do that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's I've brilliant. Never seen one before. Absolutely oh. brilliant. I've seen a few at county Any... fairs and stuff, but yeah, that's that was really really good. So we're off to have a look at the castle, get a cup of tea, and then I think that's it for the tour, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and back. And then back. Past Sellerfield. Past Sellerfield. Yeah, Stephen's interested in that. Said about the pretty stuff, he wants to go and look for a look at a new nuclear power plant. <laughs> we picked probably the best day out of the past couple of weeks to do this, to be fair, haven't we? I'd say so. We've had no rain so far. Apparently it's supposed to rain a little bit later. And it did look like there was a lot of clouds coming in over the fells, but yeah, we've been lucky. This is definitely a castle with a view, look at that, very sunny. I just heard an absolutely huge bang, I don't know if they're firing cannons or something or shooting him, but it was loud that wasn't it? It wasn't my ball. <laughs> what was that? No idea what that was. I thought if it didn't happen when the birds were out, I would have scared them. Probably wasn't. It was cool, they were very here. Uh, low <laughs> over people's heads I've got to be sat where we did I know yeah, we, didn't, we didn't get it <laughs> no, we didn't get it <laughs> yeah but definitely recommend this place it's stunning we're going to go and have a look um, we've got a bird prey centre so we're going to go and have a look in there yes and then he wants a cup of tea cup of coffee so he's happy he's got a coffee and I've got an ice cream coffee coffee I make coffee <laughs> Well, you bought your own coffee. Yeah, no, yeah you never get your purse out, do you? Nah. <laughs> What's the point having an husband if you don't pay for stuff? <laughs> I'm only joking. I do pay for my own stuff. <laughs> when? Um, my own stuff. All oh, right, so you pay for your ice cream? No. <laughs> Did you pay for your lunch? No. <laughs> Treat me, be nice for a change. It's our anniversary in two weeks. You buy me? You buy me? Uh, 20 years of putting up with you. I think I need a crown. <laughs> need the crown jewels. You can have my jewels. <laughs> no thanks. Go right. Keep them to yourself. Oh, oh, oh that's freaky. Ah, oh, look at the size of them. They're huge. So oh, this guy is a Eurasian eagle owl. <coughs> Can hear him talking to me. Stephen! And you're scary. I don't know what that one is. Scary. <coughs> so he's a great grey owl. Or she. <coughs> and this little guy is a brown wood owl. He just looks really grumpy. <laughs> it's like he's in a bad mood. <laughs> Down there. Having it small. Yeah. It's teeny. Oh, it's one of the cute ones that we saw at Keswick. Yeah. Isn't it? Looks like it, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to do it now and then. Yeah. Alright, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I finished my ice cream. <coughs> that was really nice actually. But now he's just been out on the display so I don't think he's gonna be in there. Tawny owl? They're the ones you always think about when you think about an owl. Aren't they? Yeah. Oh look he's Good. asleep. Yeah. He's fast asleep. No <laughs> cues up. <laughs> That's cute. Can I have one? <laughs> that is another burrowing owl. But look how small they are. They're proper cute. So these are the vultures. 
things that we've just seen being displayed on all the flights. They were absolutely stunning. Uh, they're not, they're not ugly birds. They're big though. Yeah, they are bigger than you think, aren't they? Yeah. It's a lot bigger than you think. Necessary in the wild. Clean up crew. Mm. <laughs> so that concludes our little walk around the birds of prey. I think the ones that have been on the flight, so out at the back there. Giving them a rest. Um, yeah, it's been good. I'm on Castle Castle, so we've got half an hour, got to be back on the bus. And then back to site. I'm going to see if he can drop us off. Because yeah. <laughs> we went past our site, even though we walked down into Keswick to meet him. So Probably we'll see. <laughs> well, we can ask. We've also got this little pretty church. What's it called? St. Michael and all the angels in Moncaster Parish Church. Come the wild for all green. So this is in the grounds of Moncaster Castle. It looks old, doesn't it? There's some of nothing in it. <laughs> I like walking around here. Yeah, it's very peaceful. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit weird. <laughs> well, we've got 20 minutes till our bus leaves, so. You've got to pay. Yeah, you need to wait. And everybody's all around the castle. There's too many people. So I thought we'd come and have a look at the church. I don't know if you heard that, but that was that big bang again. You don't know what it is. It can't be a bird scare, it's too loud, isn't it? Uh, yeah, because the only places that are mining now is all the kind of stuff. Oh, I said a bird scare, not mine. No, a bird scare is not as deep as that. I don't know what it is. It's very loud, it's not a gun. It's like a boom, booming. Right, let's go on. Get you to the toilet. Back at the van now. Um, the lovely minibus driver gave us a lift back, which is really nice of him. He dropped us off at the bottom of the lane, so we only had the lane to walk up. We were going to get the bus anyway. We weren't walking back up the hill, were we? No, we weren't. There was definitely no uh, gloves or that. But as you can hear, we've uh, been really lucky with the weather because it's just started to beat down. Yeah. You're right there, Doug. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, you broke. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna sign this video out from here. Um, come here. The next one we do will probably be Stratford. Stratford. But yeah. on another note, sixty quid a person that way. Now uh, we didn't pay that. Uh, Read about. But for sixty quid all day to do that bang on and you don't get taken to the most expensive pub for your lunch no. uh, even the castle was reasonably priced well the castle that. yeah well, you got a free entry to the bird of prey show um, the castle grounds and the bird of prey um, area the aviary um, but you would have to pay to go into the castle I think it was about £6 per person we would have done it, we just didn't have enough time we had an hour and a half there the bird of prey show was 20-30 minutes wasn't it? probably it's not longer yeah, um, so you just didn't get enough time Moncaster Castle 40 minutes, it was 22 yeah, Moncaster Castle is definitely somewhere that you could spend all day exploring around it's beautiful, yeah. absolutely stunning um, I loved it, brilliant but not very accessible for a motorhome None of it was, to be fair. Uh, no, uh, but to be fair, I was coming here. If I if I paid sixty pound per person for that, I wouldn't be upset. No, definitely well worth the money. And Kevin, our guide, was absolutely brilliant. That, yeah, really, yeah. really good. Really interesting stories he told. All the history about the Lake District showed us all the fells and what they were called. 
really really good and when and that that high adventure tour is a little bit less touristy the the six lakes and the ten lakes tour obviously take you around all the big lakes yeah, and great lakes Derwin, yeah um, Ness, we've done a lot of them anyway so i didn't want to do that that's why i called them and asked if we could get on this one because you know it's somewhere last water especially was somewhere i wanted to go really really want to get the paddleboard out there it looks amazing but apparently um, it's very, very cold. I think it's even colder than Bassenthwaite because it's the deepest lake in the Lake District. So a lot of people die there. It's quite dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little bit of danger to make you feel alive. I thought you wanted me to die. Oh, no. <laughs> but if we do come back to the lakes, I think we've decided one thing. We're going to back her. Yeah, if we're going back to the later shit, we need a car. Especially to get the paddleboard and the kayak anywhere near, anywhere decent to go on a lake. Because like you said, what we've seen today is true lake district. Yeah. Not the commercialised, yeah. touristy. Busy, busy lakes. Yeah, um, yeah so we're going to sign this one out from here. I definitely recommend the Mountain Goat Tour. I'll drop a link in the description below if you want to go on it. Um, highly recommend it. It's brilliant. And if you get yeah. Kevin, it's, it's brilliant. Oh, yeah. For a 70 year old guy, is amazing and he just doesn't stop. Bless him. I think he had a kip though, when we were at the castle. And we found out what the, the bangs were. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at the castle, apparently there's a firing range not far away, a, a gun range um, for the Ministry of Defence. So that's what that was. I did ask him and he knew, so <laughs> so we're gonna sign this one out here from here. So thanks very much for watching everyone. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and if you're at the Overlander, come over and say hello. Yeah, we'll see you at Stratford. See you later. Bye bye.